Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Luminous Ascensions. Today I'm going to be giving a reading for a specific sign. I do not know what sign yet, we are going to see right now. Please remember as this reading takes place to flip and switch the roles as needed. Gender is not important in this message. Just listen to the message, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. So let's see what do we have today and who is it for? So we have Moon. So this could be about your emotions. Some of you could be very emotional lately or some of you could be crying. Or there's something that's coming your way that's going to cause some type of emotions. So this is going to be for Aries. So you could have a moon in Aries or a Saturn in Aries. This is probably going to be some type of concerning news coming your way. Or some, it's time for you to be realistic about something. It's time to accept defeat of something. Or it's time to defend yourself. Let your feelings be known. Tell exactly how you feel. Express your emotions as need be. But yeah, this is what I'm getting so far. So this is going to be for my Aries. So let's start off with these cards right here. So if you have Aries in your sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, south node, predominantly in your chart, or you're just here cross-watching for an Aries, that is completely okay. Please only take what fits your situation and leave everything else behind. Remember to use your discernment when watching Tarot. This is for entertainment purposes only. Do not make life-changing decisions when it comes to this. Please. This is a general reading. So this is going to be for my Aries. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share the channel. I do appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. And please be aware of scammers. Anybody that tries to reach out to you, I don't reach out to people. If you want to book a personal reading with me or you just want to follow me on social media platform, the link will be in my bio, also in the description box below. My, my social media platforms, my private reading, booking page, all that is down below. I do not reach out to you. I do not ask you for anything. I will not look for clients. I always wait for clients to come to me. Any real reader knows that we don't go out and scout. So I'm just letting you know, beware of scammers on this page, on other platforms, please be aware. Let's dive in. <clears throat> what do we have for my Aries? What do we have for Aries? So it's time to sacrifice something. This could also be something that you're going to do that you're going to be inspiring other people. Yeah, you're patiently, you've been patiently waiting for something and you're about to get what you want. Spirit is giving you what you need to get what you want. I feel like it's going to be a situation where it's your persistence that's going to help you take off. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. This is going to be you taking a leadership position. You using your creativeness to do what you want and love in life. This is going to help you build your success, build your career opportunities. You could be dealing with a Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart. Yeah, this could have to do with your your associations. It's time to release yourself from something. It's definitely time to set yourself free. This could be from a circle of friends. It doesn't have to be. Maybe it's time for you to branch out of your work situation and, and do something that you love. Yeah, look, south node. Someone here could be stuck in their south node, and it's time to look outside of that. Get out of your comfort zone. It's time to reconsider something. Now could not be the time for something. Spirit could want somebody to reconsider the situation. Look at the bottom north node. It's time to push yourself into that north node. There will be success. You will get benefits coming your way. It all has to do with your consistency, your persistence, your dedication. It's time to make moves. Venus. So this could be a love situation. Spirit wants you to enjoy yourself, enjoy life right now. You could be very hard or you could be trying to force a situation. Someone could be trying to force their way back in your life and it's not going to work that way. Yeah, it's time for someone to be realistic or this could be you. Spirit wants you to jump into your reality, like wake up, wake up and smell the coffee. 
Yeah, so I feel like somebody's rushing something, and it's time for you to just take your time with something, especially if you're pouring love, energy, money, investment, all of that into it. It's time to take your time with a certain project, a career, a love life. Maybe there's someone here like, oh, when am I ever going to find love? Maybe you've been patiently waiting, but there's times you get impatient. Like, it's never coming for me. It is. It's coming for you. You could be dealing with a cancer or you have cancer in your chart. There's something very big about your feelings. There's Scorpio here and Sag. You could be dealing with any of these signs or you have it in your chart. You're getting insight on something. There's also something about the past that's coming up for you to do some inner child healing. I didn't even mean to say inner child. I was going to say inner healing. So there could be something about your inner child that needs some healing. But I'm also getting to use your intuition and discernment when it comes to moving forward in any direction with, with what's going on currently. So let's see what we have for Aries. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, help me tap into the energy for my Aries. What do they need to know at this time? What do they need to know? And so we have recognition and reward. Okay, you see? And rest and rejuvenate. So yeah, I feel like Spirit wants you to get the rest needed. It's time to recharge that energy. You will be getting recognition and reward. This could be for your hard work, your persistency, your dedication towards something. Maybe you've been overworking or overwhelmed with worry about your work. But it's time to just relax. It's coming. You will get triumphant success. It is coming. You're going to get the truth that you need it. There's going to be some type of enlightenment, some clarity that's coming your way. This could be you stepping in your power. Yeah, look, truth. There's a truth that's coming in, and I feel like it's going to set you free. Maybe this kept you way down and chained down for some time. <clears throat> you could be saying 444. You're being divinely protected at this time. It's time to take a, a lead in something. This could also be um, a legality. Maybe there's some type of legal action someone's taking to seek some type of truth. So there could be some type of truth coming out in a court situation. Doesn't have to be. But what else do we have? Somebody could be the age 34 or be a life path 3 or 4. Somebody could be thir uh, 43. So we have spiritual strength here. Yeah, spirit is guiding you. Spirit is giving you the strength needed for you to move forward, for you to persevere through all obstacles. Or this is what has been getting you through. You have faith. You believe in yourself. Yeah, thank you for the confirmation of conflict and defeat. Anything that's been coming your way, you've been able to use your spiritual strength to guide you. Your intuition is leading you, your angels, your guides, they're showing you the way. They're letting you know that, yes, you are feeling defeated. You are feeling conflicted. There is a lot of obstacles, but you know what? No matter what is being your put your path, you will outshine, you will outcome. This could be regarding a love situation. You could be pouring a lot of love into yourself or there's some type of partnership that you want harmony in. There's somebody that's coming your way that wants to reconcile the situation <clears throat> you could have felt like you were deceived when it comes to a love situation, but this was destined to happen. Or there could be a lot of people that are in deceptive and envious energy regarding a love situation that you're in or going into. Yeah, rejoice in celebration. You're going towards celebrations. You're going towards some type of victory, some type of success. This could be with career, love. Everything could be getting ready to thrive for you. But, you know, this could be you building a firm foundation right now. You're focused on being grounded. You're focused on planting roots. Like, you're not playing. You're all about moving towards success. This could be a purchasing of a home. Or laying a foundation for you, for future generations, for your children, leaving a legacy behind. Somebody could be building a home from the ground up. 
I'm also getting with this card, I'm getting like the Ten of Cups. So you're going to get everything you want that's going to make you truly happy. And you're going to move forward. Someone could be heading towards you because they see you as the person that they want to have a partnership with. Somebody wants to co-create with you. This could lead to a work partnership. <clears throat> you both could be from different ethnicities, different backgrounds, religion, cultures, different perspectives on life. But there is going to be some type of victory and success coming towards you after you have went through a lot. Someone could have tried to dim your light. Also, someone could have been doing candle magic on someone to try to send negativity away. That's not going to work. Like, you're about to <laughs> defeat all odds and nothing is going to hold you back. What am I telling you? Victory and success is headed straight towards you. You have nothing to worry about, baby. Spirit has your back. Source, God, whatever you claim is behind you tenfold memories of love so this could be a situation where someone is reminiscing on the past or this could be you reminiscing on the past maybe there's a lot of memories you shared with someone and it could be playing in your mind this could have been what i was talking about about the emotions about something triggering you <clears throat> it could have been up to six years cycle it doesn't have to be I'm seeing three candles. There could have been something about a third party situation. Yeah, trapped in fear. So this could be you trapped in fear to open your heart again, to be vulnerable, to move forward. Or this could be someone trapped in fear to do the shadow work. Someone here needs to do some type of shadow work or healing. Someone could be going through a dark night of the soul because they're trapped in fear. It's time to get out of fear. It's time to take action. It's time to move forward. Yeah, the waiting game. And it came in the struggle position. You're struggling because you're waiting on something. Or this is somebody waiting for the perfect time. And I feel like Spirit's telling them, just jump, just go. Just take action. There's never a perfect time to do something. What's the waiting game? Patience. Yeah, look. Patience. And and I'm seeing the seeds that you planted are growing. Whatever work that you've been doing, whether this is your inner work, whether this is to build a career, whether this is a business, whether this is a foundation for your, your kids, your future, a spouse, whatever this is, you've been patiently waiting and I'm telling you, it's growing. Whether you see it or not, because I feel like half of it you don't see. You see some of the progression, but you don't see all of it. So you are you could be becoming impatient with a situation, but I feel like I see the wheel of fortune as I look at this. Like your good luck is, is coming in. Like it's about to take a shift. You could not be feeling so confident about the situation right now. Maybe you're having a lack of confidence. Like, will I be enough? Do I have enough to achieve this? Um... Any of these things could be playing in your mind, but this is the fear. This is you causing yourself illusions. This is self-sabotage energy right here, and you need to get out of that. Yeah, it's time to speak up about a situation. Maybe you're nervous to speak up to someone or, or about something. Throat chakra is here, or there could be someone that's coming your way to speak up to you. Be careful. This person could be envious of you, or they could be coming to lie to you. Maybe this person wants to act like they want to reconcile situation, but you need to be cautious. I feel like you're going to be aware. Somebody's third eye is closed. They can't see clearly. This person could be trying to look into what you're doing, what moves you're making, who you're making it with, all this stuff, and they can't see nothing, so they're bothered. You're going to know very clearly what's going on when it comes your way. We have crown chakra here. So I feel like as soon as you, you see this person or hear this person any of it you're gonna know you're gonna something is just gonna have like a light bulb moment like an epiphany is gonna hit you're gonna know immediately what this person's up to yeah this could be all because you're getting your wishes fulfilled because you have wish fulfillment coming in now this person wants to come and and 
either burden you or act like they want to fix a situation, reconcile, or they need your help. Someone could have their hand out like, oh, you know, what about me? Don't forget about me. This could be, um, I don't know why I'm hearing something about a best friend. I don't know. Um, or this could be a family member. <clears throat> a friend group. This could be an ex-lover. This could be someone you had children with. Or someone here sees you as wish fulfillment and they want to talk to you. Power. You could be dealing with a Leo or you have Leo in your chart. It's time to take back your power. It's time to stand in your power. You're very wise. I don't know why I'm hearing shaman. Like, I feel like somebody is in shaman energy. Like, you're a natural born leader, a healer. You're very, very wise. Even if you're young, you could be very wise within your heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit. You're very intelligent. You can see. I feel like you can foresee stuff before it actually happens. Someone here could have green eyes, gray eyes, or blue eyes. Doesn't have to be. But someone's very fierce. Someone's ready to <laughs> take their power and, and make moves. 21, yeah, the universe is guiding. The universe is guiding you right now to make these moves. I'm hearing the world. So I'm, I'm seeing the world card. So yeah, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. So you can have this in your chart. But it's time to complete old cycles. It's time to step up and do what you're guided to do. This is going to help you develop power, stand in your position, like go on your throne. Okay, divine feminine, divine masculine, let's go. I love it. Yeah, because you have a light within you that needs to shine. Spirit is trying to tell you it's time to shine that light. It's time. Or this could be someone realizing that they have a light within them, that they have gifts within them. This could be spiritual gifts. This could be talent. Anything that you love to do that you realize can get you farther than where you are right now. Spirit is putting this in your mind, in your intuition, in your thoughts, in your dreams. They're giving you signs and synchronicities everywhere. It's, it's, it's time. So <clears throat> this could also be... Someone seeing the light within you. Maybe they didn't see it before and now they're seeing that you do shine a light upon things. This could be you showing your world, uh, the world, your light. Yeah, obstacles and challenge, awareness, transformation. I told you victory and success. You dealt with so many obstacles. Everything that was thrown your way. This could be different enemies. This could be different deities this could be different negative energies people places things that were sent your way to destroy you but guess what your intuition helped you and guide you through each one of these challenges and you went through a transformation you grew you glowed up and you transformed you went through a phase where nothing and no one can hold you back anymore because you've been there done that and guess where you're going victory and success nothing is going to be able to stop you <clears throat> yeah authority truth yeah i'm telling you it's gonna be beautiful this is gonna be definitely beautiful aries y'all stepping into power i mean y'all are powerful regardless because i know my aries babies but whatever y'all have been holding on to that is the past guess what you don't have to hold on to that any longer baby like it's time to clear the old and make way for the new baby it's time to like let's let's move forward let's transition into beautiful things let's see what else do we have for my aries yeah look you're gonna achieve whatever goal that you are thriving to go to you're going to achieve it or a spirit's throwing you some goals, your purpose. Someone's realizing what their purpose is. Someone here could be the age 26. Or this could be something about your abundance. Two and six is eight. This could be something about your abundance. Once you thrive to go towards this goal, your abundance is going to be coming in easily. Yes, like I said, someone could be having memories of the past. 
there's someone that's reminiscing on something because they see you going towards victory and success. This could be a friend or a friend group that is trying to trap you. Be careful. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, because you set yourself free. You set yourself free from the situation. This could have been a third party situation, but you learn how to love yourself. I'm also getting a karmic couple. There could be a karmic couple here that was trying to stop you from your, your purpose. Achieving goals, achieving success, being free, being liberated, being happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Origin, didn't I tell you the seeds you are planted are growing? Do you see this? This is confirmation of what I'm saying. Your seeds that you planted are growing. They're flourishing. They're blossoming, baby. Like, this could be yourself. This could be your own growth. This could be your career, a business that's about to take off. Spirit is telling you you are on the right path. Someone could be withdrawing from something. Someone could be withdrawing from smoking or quitting. This could be bad habits. Any type of toxicity, any type of addictions, codependency. Anything that needs to be released, someone is awakening to what they need to reject. Someone is very aware. Someone here could be the age 22. You could be saying 222. It's time to step into alignment. What else, Spirit? So we have conflict, but look. See? Someone's mad because you're moving forward. There could be a conflict between two men. Some type of... Mm-hmm. There could be a physical altercation that can occur. Or somebody's taking a step back because they know that someone's coming to bring a bunch of nonsense to them. So they know it's time to withdraw their energy to remove themselves from some type of conflict. We have mask in the reverse, coach in the reverse, and aid in the reverse. Um, this person could have wanted you to mentor them and help them with their life, but their mask is falling off, whoever this is. They always needed you for help, and it's time for you to take a step back. You could be seeing 2211 or 212. Look up that confirmation, please. Um, yeah, someone's mask is falling off. It's it's Or this is you. You're not wearing a mask for nobody. You're being your authentic self. You're standing in a position of power. You're being who you are, and you're not scared to show the world who you are. <clears throat> Coach in the reverse. I feel like you didn't need someone to teach you something. I felt like whatever you're gifted at, whatever your talent is, you learn by yourself. You researched the information. You studied something very hard. And you just had natural talents, natural gifts. And you learned how to thrive on your own. There's something about your persistence, your motivation, your inspiration, your dedication to something that you didn't need much help to, to be able to persevere through this. See, aid in the reverse. Coach in the reverse. Something came to you naturally. Maybe you had to learn the process because obviously, but something came to you naturally. Spirit gifted you this beautiful blessing to help you thrive in life. But this could also be someone needs your help all the time. And it's time to take a step back and focus on what your goals are, what you need to do. It's not time to sit there and help this person 24-7. It's time to take an adventure. You could be traveling. Someone is ready to explore their passions. Someone's ready to take a leap of faith. Someone here is going towards a brand new beginning. This is this is new beginnings right here. What else? Yeah, you're no longer blind to a situation. Blind in the reverse. You see clearly. You see very clearly. Real estate in the struggle position. Someone could be struggling with the home foundation. Or this could be a real estate agent that's struggling with a property to sell a property or to maintain a property. Someone could be losing a property. This could also be um, someone's awakening to who they build a foundation with, to who they live with, to who they're sleeping with at night. This could also be someone doesn't want to invest in the situation no more and they're releasing this situation. Yeah, and this is what's going to bring good luck in. Someone here could be the age 32. 24 30 so someone could be hitting the lottery or there could be a large sum of money that's coming your way someone could be winning a lawsuit or having some type of luck there's going to be beautiful luck coming in for you this could be selling something 
or with some type of investment, whatever business opportunity, it's going to be a success. This could be you and a partner collaborating on some type of business and winning together because I see a couple here. Or also I'm getting, be careful with your success, your wins, your your abundance, your income because someone else is going to want to profit off of it. So be careful with that energy, please. What else? That's too much. Give me a few more for Aries. So we have gift and commitment. Someone could be gifting you something or this is the universe giving you some type of divine blessing. But someone's trying to make sure you, you go through hell and back before you get it. Or this is someone... Someone trying to bind you because they know that you have beautiful gifts coming in or that you have something that is worth celebrating coming in. This could be a love situation. This could be someone's just pissed that someone's coming towards you. <clears throat> or this could actually be <laughs> the universe keeping someone away from you, divinely protecting you from whoever this is that's trying to come in and mess up whatever is meant for you. Someone here could be the age 34, 36. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. Yeah, you're getting a promotion. This could be a coworker that doesn't want to see you get promoted. Or this could just be someone, in an ex. This could be a businessman or a businesswoman. That doesn't want to see you do better than them. Um, yeah. Yeah, someone's sick. Because they know that you have blessings coming in for you. And they're pissed. Someone's pissed off because you have blessings coming in. Yeah. Someone's trying to have some type of idea to see you lose. This is ridiculous. Someone wants to see you lose. They don't want to see you happy. Yeah, now someone's stressed because people want to collaborate with you or someone wants to come in and give you loyalty and they're stressed about it because you're honest with your communication. You have compatibility with someone. Someone here could be getting a dog. But it's like someone knows that they can trust you and someone's pissed and stressed about the situation. They have headaches. They're having lack of sleep because they don't understand how they can't separate. Someone could have been born in the year 73 or 70. Someone here could be 73 years old or 70 or 60. <clears throat> someone here could be a life path 7 or 6. Yeah, someone's in fear. Someone's in fear of something. That you're going to grow a family, that you're going to have a baby with someone, or that someone's going to find the truth out about some type of pregnancy or baby or child. Someone is strategically trying to plan a proposal or someone's strategy is to come in and propose to you. Someone's trying to cause some type of hesitation towards this. Mm, someone does not want to see you win in love. Why? Let's see who this is. Who could my Aries be dealing with? Matter of fact, let me do these first. <clears throat> spirit guide, spirit angels, talk to me. What does Aries need to know at this time? What does Aries need to know at this time? So it says... Spirit is guiding you into true love very soon. Oh, go ahead, Aries. They're guiding you. Roommate involved. There could be a roommate involved in the situation. Maybe you're going to start as a roommate with someone and then it's going to progress into love. Or there could be a roommate that's going to be envious and jealous that you have true love coming in. Red Lobster, something about Red Lobster. You could be going to Red Lobster or someone here likes Red Lobster. Or you could have went to Red Lobster with someone. So we have religious beliefs. I told you there could be something about beliefs here. Clout chasing hater. So there's a clout chasing hater that's involved in the situation. 
synchronicities. You're getting signs about this. Chose your own path. Yeah, because you chose your own path. Somebody's mad because you they could be religious and you chose your own path. You could be more spiritual and someone is not happy with that. Someone has strange weirdo vibes. So somebody is like on some strange vibes with you because you're not doing what they want you to do. You have a decision to make coming up. Oh, it says what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So some of you could be going to Vegas. Someone has been to Vegas. Someone could live in Vegas. Or there's some type of secret that someone doesn't want to come out. They don't want to get exploded. Exploited. Someone could be exploiting somebody. So somebody with dimples. This could be you or someone else. So social media is involved. Someone could be watching your social media, stalking your social media. Yeah, somebody's creepy. There's creepy as fuck here. And it says, do not drink poison. So this could be alcohol or it could be telling you be careful with your drinks. Um, so Zodiacs that could be involved could be a Sagittarius, a Virgo, a Pisces, a Capricorn, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could be important to the situation. You could have this in your chart or you could be dealing with these signs. There could be a brief encounter with any of these signs. Then it has the manipulation backfired now. Mm. Mm. So whatever somebody tries to do to you is not going to work. Not going to work. So we have toxicity. So some type of toxicity is here. It says this person is pretending to be loyal. So somebody could be pretending to be loyal, but they're not. So the spirit's trying to warn you of someone. So it says, good news is coming your way about you or your family. Oh, that is beautiful. Then someone's health is declining. Be aware of the company surrounding you. And then we have short height and eat more greens. Some of you can need to eat more greens to activate your chakras. It's time to declutter your home and your life. So this could be spirit telling you it's time to focus. It's time to like get on it. Get on and get with it. So, um, let's see what else. <clears throat> what else do we have for my Aries? What do you want my Aries to know right now? So we have painting the roses red, covering up errors. Someone could be trying to cover up their mistakes or cover up something. They don't want something to come out. Um, this could also be a situation where somebody's trying to cover up some type of anger because when I see red, I think like either Pat, this could be someone cover, covering up the passion they have for someone or covering up some type of anger they're feeling. And look again at the bottom. Do not drink poison. You guys, do not do things you know are bad for you. So please stay away from toxicity. This could be addictions. This could be anything that you know is bad for you. Please stay away from it. Because that it came out for my own deck, and then I just saw it at the bottom of this deck. So it's confirmation. So such a curious dream, grounding, returning to reality. Yeah, it's time to come home. It's time to make better choices. Some of you could be drinking more tea. It's, it's always tea time. <coughs> this could also be a situation where someone's going to spill the tea on something. And it's going to lead to someone having to make a decision and a choice about a particular path belong to your own dream create your own life yeah it's time to go on your own path create your own life maybe you could be getting signs in your dreams about what you need to do next or someone could be trying to come into your dream state this could be telepathy that's going on if someone wants to reach out to you and they feel like that's the only way right now Anything else? This could also mean someone's still spiritually sleeping. This person's not awakened yet. Whoever this person is that's trying to talk to you or come back to you or have telepathy, this person could still be like nowhere near your level. So investigate. Look closely. Ask questions. So someone's investigating something or someone's trying to look into something. This could have to do with three or more people. 
Oh, this could have to do with karma because it says what comes around. So what comes around goes around. Law is not justice. So this could have to do with uh, some type of karmic justice that you're about to get. Spirit's about to give you karmic justice in this situation. And it's time to use your time wisely. Use your time well. Invest well because it will help in the long run. Yeah, you have no need to fear. Someone could be scared of change here. Someone doesn't like change. Someone doesn't like transitions. But I feel like Spirit's doing this on purpose. So you can get out of your comfort zone. So you are able to make the steps needed to follow your dreams, to follow your path. Even if it's something you didn't even know you were good at. It's being put on your path for a reason. What else? What do we have? Let's see. Aries. So we have answers unfold. So you could be getting some type of downloads or you're going to have answers that come to you. Keep your mind open and be willing to learn from this experience. So maybe you went through a karmic lesson recently or you've learned a lot of lessons and it's helping you grow. With each lesson you learn, it's helping you step into your strength. It's, it's helping you make the changes needed to position yourself for the life that you truly want. Maybe at times you feel like you were left uncertain about things, but I feel like everything happens for a reason. Feather of hope. You guys could be seeing a lot of feathers at this time. Grasp the feather of hope, a delicate symbol of upward promises and uplifting future. I told you, you have a beautiful future coming in. You have nothing to worry about. Maybe this is spirit telling you get out of your head. So we have real promise. Release the chains of the past and dance to the rhythm of possibilities. I'm telling you, this is all about taking a leap of faith, being liberated, taking a chance on yourself, taking a risk to do something, not being scared of what people would think or their judgment, just doing something because you feel like you're being called to do so. What else? We have desert of isolation. You could be isolating yourself from a lot of people right now. Um, this could be some introspection or reflecting. So it says transverse the desolate spaces of solitude to uncover reflections and resilient survival. Maybe you feel like survival of the fittest. This could also be a, a situation where you're coming out of isolation to expand, to grow, this could be you just like coming out with something that's going to be a power move that people didn't see coming, but I feel like spirit positioned you to do so. <clears throat> yeah, fast progress. I'm telling you, y'all think, I know what I feel. I know energy. I know what I'm talking about. Move forward with swift precision and do what must be done now. It's time to take action. It's time to make moves. Spirits talking, y'all. Spirits talking, y'all. Let's see what else we have. Mm. Let me do some tarot. Yeah, I'm gonna do some tarot and see what, what we have here. The tower in the reverse. Somebody could be trying to avoid a tower. A spirit helped you avoid a tower when you release something. What do we have for Aries? You can be saying 3838 38 or 838. Page of Swords. So there could be somebody watching someone or somebody could be under investigation. What is Page of Swords? We have the lovers here. Someone has a decision to make. Um, it could be about family or an inheritance here. Um, this could be about a family dynamic. Some of you could be meeting a higher level soulmate, or this could be a decision between two paths or lovers. One of these is going to lead you to your Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> or someone sees you as a true investment. Someone sees you as something that they want to invest in. We have the Empress in the reverse. So Taurus Libra energy. So there's a distorted mother figure here. This could be a baby mother, 
This could be a, a actual mother. This could be an aunt, uncle, anybody that could be a mother figure. Um, this person could be the one watching something or someone. This person could be pocket watching someone's finances or they're trying to use someone for finances. They're trying to like gain off of someone. Queen of Wands. We have Aries Leo Sag. What's this Empress in the reverse? You could have fire in your chart and this is you taking action. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So whoever this is, they're not going to get... They're, they're waiting for some type of, um, there's some type of missed opportunity that they were trying to get off of someone. They're not going to, they're not going to get it. Not, what's the ace of pentacles in the reverse with the empress in the reverse? Yeah, someone's stressed, anxious, worried about a situation. Yeah, this person could have been in trickster energy. They could have been lying, deceiving, manipulating a situation. And this is why they're not going to get this situation. Someone could have been lying in a court situation or lying to family. Or this could have been a family member lying to trying to gain money off of someone. Wow. So, um, Aries Leo Sag over here with the Queen of Wands. Someone's taking action on something. You could be very sexy, very beautiful, very sensual. Um... Someone here could like sunflowers. Someone here could have a black cat or like black cats. Or you're very mysterious. Yeah, look, we have the devil here. So some type of addictions or codependency is here. Capricorn energy. What is the devil? The sun. So someone's getting illuminated to whatever this toxicity is, whatever this addiction was. Someone could have been addicted or obsessed with keeping someone stuck, but they're getting illuminated to something. Someone here, it, there could be something about a child that's here that's important. What's the sign or this is you going towards your happiness and someone wanted to keep you stuck in some type of addiction or toxicity and it's not going to happen that way yeah five of swords in the reverse you're getting out of whatever mental conflict that was king of wands so we had the king to the queen of wands here i'm also getting there could be a karmic couple here i was saying it earlier there could definitely be a karmic couple here that was trying to keep someone stuck or stagnant in a situation there could be children involved um or they were trying to hide something, but it's coming to the light anyways. It could be about some type of, like, secrets that they didn't want being released. It could be about someone's sex life. It doesn't have to be. Or this could be about, <clears throat> like I said, some type of addictions. Gambling, alcohol, drugs lifestyle mindset behaviors codependency someone could see you as their counterpart their other half and they're seeing the light about you maybe who they were with was just not for them and they're starting to see that you could be seeing 333 you're being supported. Yeah, now somebody wants to offer you love. Or this is spirit giving you new love. You have new love coming in after a time of pouring into yourself. You could be seeing white doves. Yeah. This could also be a pregnancy announcement. There could be something that's coming to light about pregnancy. You have king of cups here. So this could be the major decision that's going to be made. Maybe you have a king of wands and a king of cups that is here. And they both want to offer love. Um, maybe one is truly here to offer you love and maybe one is here to try to just keep you in codependent toxicities. Yeah, look, stuck. What I said, stuck. Someone could be stuck, um, because of children, they, they, they're keeping themselves bound to a situation or someone's using children to keep someone stuck. Um, or someone's seeing a new perspective when it comes to something and now there's good news coming in for this person. Yeah, the tower in the reverse. Someone was trying to avoid a tower. Scorpio Aries energy here. 
the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces over here. But someone wants to heal a situation. Or this is you healing after some type of mental prison. Or someone feels like they're in a mental prison while you're over here healing and doing your own thing. Yeah, look, Two of Cups as I split the deck. You're going towards your divine counterpart. Or you're already with a divine counterpart. Yeah, and you're leaving something else out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. You're leaving something else out in the cold because you're being guided to do so. And someone's over here mad. They're in their feels. And they don't want to see that happen. Yeah. You have a forever commitment coming in. Yeah, you could have some jealous friends or there could be some type of friends that are jealous that you're moving away. Someone here could have a sex or a porn addiction. <clears throat> what do I need to know for this spread for Aries? So we have another woman. So there could be another woman involved in a situation. Divine Feminine, this could be you. You could have Aries in your chart. Or Divine Feminine, you could be dealing with the Aries, but there's something about another woman that's here. This could be the baby mother. This could be another woman that's trying to research something or trying to look into something. Or they could be saying that you're the other woman. The whole time you're here as a Divine Feminine. <laughs> mm, more than one karmic. Okay. So someone could have a platform full of them, bitches. I mean, I don't know. Someone here is wearing a mask. Or someone's hiding who they truly are. Someone could already be married. Someone could be hiding the fact that they were married when they met you. Or someone here could be hiding a marriage. Um... What's, who are you? What's, who are you? Surprised by my strength. Naughty pictures in Aquarius. So something about an Aquarius could be important. Someone could be finding naughty pictures. Or someone could be looking at your naughty pictures if you sent them any. Um, someone could be wanting naughty pictures. I don't know why I'm hearing something about OnlyFans. Um, I don't know. But some of you could be dealing with a Leo for me to see strength here. You could have Leo in your chart. Some of you could be going to the beach. What? What is naughty pictures? People pleasing? Uh, <laughs> what is naughty pictures with people pleasing? Trusting the universe. I feel like the universe is guiding someone to come towards you. Maybe you could have had some type of interactions with this person a while ago. Maybe I'm hearing maybe you could have dealt with them when you were in karmic energy, but you've upgraded your life and this person could still be looking at your pictures fantasizing about you. Um, this could also be a situation where someone is married and that person could have found your pictures on someone or someone's been looking at you observing you and watching you persistently mm, what's marriage marijuana relax someone likes to smoke a lot of weed or someone feels like a tarot reader you could be a tarot reader or someone's getting information through a reading. Someone could be pulling cards about you. What? What is marriage? So we have sexually transmitted disease and party girl. So someone that could be out and about in the nightlife. Someone here could like to party a lot or be out in the clubs or do something oh lord someone is looking like a clown now what is what is STD or party girl gossiping stalking deep rooted insecurities 
Okay, so I'm getting whoever this was. Someone could be gossiping and stalking you, as I was saying earlier. And they're trying to hide this. This person could have a drug problem. Doesn't have to be. But they're trying to hide. They're trying to wear a false mask as they're watching you. They could be watching if you're a tarot reader, do stuff uh, on your platforms. Yeah, this person could have used and abused you when you when they were in your life. Or they could have taken you for granted. And now they want your help. They're having deep-rooted insecurities. Um, this person could need to get out of the party life. Or maybe this has to do with the naughty pictures. Maybe someone could be participating in extra activities. That's getting them caught up in something. What is... Uh, <clears throat> someone could be finding out that whoever they were married to while they're going out partying they were doing other things besides partying and they contracted something or somebody could be finding out that they contracted something while in a marriage so it says argumentative never wrong karmic cycle is closing standing in my power i'm telling you you're standing in your power because you close the karmic cycle and this person could want to come and argue with you they feel like they're never wrong but it's like you shut the door on this person already. Like they, they have no access to you. They have no way of coming towards you. And you're not going to argue with them. You're too busy standing in your power. And you're ready to knock a bitch out if need be. You ain't got the time or the energy for any of this dumb shit. They want a clean slate and a do over. And they feel hopeless without you. And this person could be comparing their life to yours. Or they're trying to see like why did you get the upgrade and they didn't. It's because you put in the work. It's because you put in the time, the energy, the dedication, everything to change your life or whatever this is. And they sat there gossiping, stalking you, people pleasing, partying, stuck in addictions. This person could have like a group of people harassing you, stalking you, talking shit about you. Uh... I don't know. Oop. Something dropped on the floor. So I'm going to get that real quick. Hold on. <clears throat> we need to talk. I told you, somebody wants to talk to you now. This person could be trying to invite you out to coffee. Or someone wants to spill the beans about a situation now. Someone's going to try to spill the beans about something. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to work. I don't think you want to deal with this person. I'm feeling like you're just going to like remove yourself. Let me, let me get clarity and then we are done. So this is going to be for Aries. I don't know why I'm hearing something about a brothel. I'm also hearing poly polygamy. Somebody could have been in a poly, poly relationship or wanted you to come in their poly relationship. I don't know. I don't know. Someone could be coming to you for a reading to try to see who's dealing with other people. Or there could be another tarot reader here that's trying to talk trash about you, that's trying to um, defame you. Let's see. What do we have? For Aries. To clarify the situation. So we have vibes. Sensing something, unexplainable feeling, listen to intuition. So listen to your intuition. You feel like something is coming your way or you know that someone's trying to reach out to you. Maybe you've already sensed the projection of energy that they're throwing at you. But just be cautious. Yeah, I'm telling you. Bye, Felicia. Bye. Deuces. Yeah. Leaving and not caring. Knocked up. Somebody's pregnant. Uh. <sighs> so somebody's pregnant. So somebody could be leaving someone behind that's pregnant. Um, there could be news about a baby on the way. Um, or this could be you. Congratulations. Uh, petty. Immature, small-minded, significant drama. <laughs> Someone that you had a baby with could be trying to throw some type of drama at you or drama your way. Morning after. Oh, this could have been like a one night stand or someone could have like 
had it when I sailed with someone in the morning after, like, was like, uh, you know, they could have been on some petty shit and they realized that this person got knocked up. This could have been an unwanted pregnancy, an unexpected pregnancy. Maybe this was the party girl and someone had like an STD and now they're trying to blame it on you or I don't know. Or maybe you about to have a rendezvous and Spirit's telling you be careful because you could be getting somebody knocked up. I don't know. I don't know. But we have light bulb moment. Yeah, I told you that somebody's going to have an epiphany about something. Somebody's going to be realizing something. They're going to be aware about something. Flaking out. I told you. Didn't I say somebody could be leaving someone pregnant? Or somebody's leaving a petty situation behind because they see you as a person they want to be with. They see you as their empress. They see you as who they want to impregnate. Maybe somebody's trying to impregnate you. Oh, no. Bossing up. Look at that. That's you, Aries. Bossing up. You and your boss energy. Self-empowerment, leading the pack. Then we have Bridging Gaps Reunion. So there could be a reunion coming in. It's time to close out distance. This person could be at a distance, but it's time for you to come together. Aww. What else? What's bossing up? Bounce back. Yeah, you got your flow back, baby. You bounced it back from whatever was thrown your way. They tried. They tried, but they couldn't. They could not. <laughs> Perseverance, overcoming obstacles. I told you, ain't nothing about to slow you down. Laid up. You could be laid up with your boo. Or this reunion is about to have y'all laid up, cuddling. Maybe you're going to get knocked up. Maybe you're going to have yourself some little babies. Ooh, that's cute. That's cute. Escaping the world together. It's like when y'all vibe, when y'all together, nobody else exists. Maybe both of y'all had to close out cycles before y'all were able to unite and come together with this reunion. We have sheep, lacking opinions, being easily influenced, a follower. So there's a follower here. Yeah, hands off the blues. So someone's in the blues because someone's claiming their territory. Someone's claiming their boo. Someone's claiming their love. Yeah, sticking claims, scaring off the competition. Maybe this is you, like this person. <laughs> they know there is no competition when it comes to a divine masculine or a divine feminine. And now someone's sad because they got left behind. They feel heartbroken and now they're watching. They're keeping tabs. They're hoping that y'all fail so they can come and rebound. <laughs> they want to come love bomb situation. But guess what, baby? You're slaying. You're slaying the competition. You ain't worried about no competition. What competition? What competition? <laughs> Anything else? <clears throat> Fuego. Ooh. Chemistry, intense passion. Things are heating up. You guys have a lot of fire together. When y'all get it popping, y'all have a lot of fire and intimacy. The love that y'all are going to have together is going to be fuego, baby. You both could have fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, my God. You guys. Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. With, right after fuego. What is fuego? It's Bonnie and Clyde. Ride or die, us against the world, a dedicated partnership. Like, this is the, the love that ain't going nowhere. This is divine masculine, divine feminine. This is empress, emperor energy. This is, we got this, baby. And look, it came out, keeping tabs, love bombing. So somebody's trying to come in and love bomb and keep tabs on your love life or what you're doing or who you're going towards, and it's not going, mm -mm. Yeah, because they're heartbroken. They feel like... Either they feel like you're the reason that their relationship didn't work or you shattered their hopes and dreams with their connection or they're trying to like, they could be trying to break up this relationship, but that's not going to work either. I'm sorry, boo. It's definitely not going to work. Anything else? Yeah. You're keeping the faith alive. You could be meditating more. You could be healing or your person is. <clears throat> Twin flames. Ooh. And I see Queen B. Ooh. Go ahead, Aries. Y'all 
stepping in. Y'all stepping in, stepping out. Boss bitch, career focused, confident. Like you're exhuming all that confidence. Like you are stepping up. Twin flame is here. So you could be reuniting with your twin. Queen B, I see Queen of Pentacles or Empress. So Taurus Libra energy or Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Yes, baby, running. So you could be running away with your twin flame or your twin flame is running to come get your ass because they see you... <laughs> They know that they can't nobody compete or compare. They see you as their wish fulfillment. And they can't wait to put all this love on you. Ooh, ooh, somebody could be getting readings and they're not going to be happy because they know that you're about to get your wishes fulfilled. And they know they don't messed up when it came to you. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't going. All right. Well, on that note... That was your reading, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. And it was beautiful. Had a little hiccups here and there, but I loved it overall. So, yeah. Please take a moment to thumbs up the video, like it, share, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the love and the support that everybody gives to my channel as I continue to grow it. And I will be back very soon with the rest of the signs. So, bye, babies.